Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Renting an Apartment Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say, how much is the rent? How many bedrooms are there? And much more with this new PDF cheat sheet. Second, printable visual flashcards that'll improve your vocabulary. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll easily master over 1,500 words. Just download and print these flashcards out. Third, the top 50 marine animals and fish. How well do you know animal names in your target language? With this lesson, you'll learn how to say shark, whale, dolphin, and much more. Fourth, how to talk about your day in 20 phrases. If you can't talk about your day yet, this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn 20 must know phrases, from talking about waking up and brushing your teeth to dinner and going to sleep. Fifth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off basic, premium, or premium plus with the summer sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this series, we'll cover daily conversations to help you learn Japanese expressions for everyday life. Welcome to Daily Japanese Conversations by JapanesePod101.com. First, we'll listen to the dialogue. Try to get a feel for the conversation and don't worry about the words you don't already know. Second comes the dialogue with the text. You can follow along and see any new useful words. Next, we will review a list of key vocabulary followed by the English translations. Finally comes the dialogue with the text to review again what we learned in this lesson. You can also get the full dialogue study tool for this lesson and hundreds more right now at JapanesePod101.com. Click the link in the description to gain access to the dialogue script, line-by-line -line audio pronunciations, key vocabulary and much more to finally master Japanese. Okay, let's get started with the first dialogue. もしもし、ようこちゃんうん。えりちゃん、久しぶり。大丈夫最近何しているのみんな心配してるよ。ずっと論文だった。大変だったよ。ギリギリ間に合った。今どこ今、大学で学長待ってるところ。えどうしたのわかんないけど、論文の件で学長が私を呼んだ。えー、お待たせしました。山口さん、どうぞ。もう行くね。後でかけ直す。じゃあね。失礼しますどうぞ座って今日読んだ理由は君の論文のことですすみませんやっぱりそのホリエモンのテーマが悪かったですかいやいやいや素晴らしい論文だ大したものだよ本当ですか本当だよそれでソミーに君を推薦したんだがどうかねソニーですかいやいやソミー SOMY だよソミーですかありがとうございます。第二希望でした。Now follow along with the text on the screen. Remember to click the link in the description to gain access to the dialogue study tool and free PDF lesson notes you can download to review later. This includes today's dialogue, grammar points, vocabulary, and much more at JapanesePod101.com. もしもし、ようこちゃんうん。えりちゃん、久しぶり。大丈夫最近何しているのみんな心配してるよ。ずっと論文だった。大変だったよ。ギリギリ間に合った。今どこ今、大学で学長待ってるところ。えどうしたの
わかんないけど、論文の件で学長が私を呼んだ。えー、お待たせしました。山口さんどうぞ。もう行くね。後でかけ直す。じゃあね。失礼します。どうぞ、座って。今日呼んだ理由は、君の論文のことです。すみません。やっぱり、その、ホリエモンのテーマが悪かったですかいやいやいや、素晴らしい論文だ。大したものだよ。本当ですか本当だよ。それでソミーに君を推薦したんだが、どうかね。ソニーですかいやいやいや、ソミー。S-O-M-Y だよ。ソミーですか。ありがとうございます。第二希望でした。Let's read the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. 間に合う。Sufficient time, in time. 希望 Hope, desire, wish. 失礼 Rude. 直す Fix, repair, redo. 大したもん Something great, important. やっぱり As suspected, as I thought. 推薦状 Letter of recommendation. k e m Matter, affair, case, counter for cases. お待たせしました。I kept you waiting. 学長 School, University President. Finally, let's review the dialogue with the text again. もしもし、ようこちゃんうん。えりちゃん、久しぶり。大丈夫最近何しているのみんな心配してるよ。ずっと論文だった。大変だったよ。ギリギリ間に合った。今どこ今、大学で学長待ってるところ。えどうしたのわかんないけど、論文の件で学長が私を呼んだ。えー、お待たせしました。山口さん、どうぞ。もう行くね。後でかけ直す。じゃあね。失礼しますどうぞ座って今日読んだ理由は君の論文のことですすみませんやっぱりそのホリエモンのテーマが悪かったですかいやいやいや素晴らしい論文だ大したものだよ本当ですか本当だよそれでソミーに君を推薦したんだがどうかねソニーですかいやいやソミー SOMY だよソミーですかありがとうございます。第二希望でした。Well done. In this lesson, you improved your listening and master key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Click the link in the description to gain access to the dialogue script, line by line audio pronunciations, key vocabulary, and much more to finally master Japanese. See you next time. Bye. Soto. Outside. Soto. Soto. Outside. Soto ni s u a r i t a i d e s I want to sit outside. Soto ni s u a r i t a i d e s Naka. Inside. Naka. Naka. Inside. 大豆はさやの中で育つ。Soy beans grow inside the pot. 大豆はさやの中で育つ。左。Left. 左
左、left。それは左側にあります。It's on the left side. それは左側にあります。右、right。右、右、right。右側に立ってください。Please stand on the right side. 右側に立ってください。1番。First. 1番。1番。First. 1番最初というのは常に一番大変です。The first time is always the most difficult. 一番最初というのは常に一番大変です。二番。Second. 二番。二番。Second. 私の二番目の息子は英語を話します。My second son speaks English. 私の二番目の息子は英語を話します。三番。Third. 三番。三番。Third. 九州は日本で三番目に大きい島です。Kyushu is the third largest island of Japan. Kyushu は日本で三番目に大きい島です。石鹸 soap. 石鹸石鹸 soap. 石鹸と水で毎日体を洗いなさい。Bathe with soap and water every day. 石鹸と水で毎日体を洗いなさい。歯ブラシ。toothbrush。歯ブラシ。歯ブラシ。toothbrush。ホテルの部屋には備え付けの歯ブラシがあった。ホテルルームハード toothbrushes available. ホテルの部屋には備え付けの歯ブラシがあった。歯磨き粉。toothpaste。歯磨き粉。歯磨き粉。トゥースペースト。ほとんどの歯科医師はフッ素入りの歯磨き粉を勧めます。most dentists recommend using a toothpaste with fluoride. ほとんどの歯科医師は、フッ素入りの歯磨き粉を勧めます。シャンプー、シャンプー、シャンプー、シャンプー、シャンプー。花の香りのするシャンプーを使っている。I use flower scented shampoo. 花の香りのするシャンプーを使っている。情報。information. 情報。情報。information. 僕はいつもインターネットで情報収集する。I gather information from the internet. 僕はいつもインターネットで情報収集する。農家。farmer. 農家、農家、ファーマー。農家の人は日の出から日没まで休みなく働く。The farmer works from sunrise to sunset without a break. 農家の人は日の出から日没まで休みなく働く。秘書、secretary、秘書。秘書。secretary。私に秘書はいません
I don't have a secretary. 私に秘書はいません。銀行員、バンカー。銀行員、銀行員、バンカー。私は住宅ローンを受ける前に10人の銀行員と会いました。I met with 10 bankers before I received a loan to buy a house. 私は住宅ローンを受ける前に10人の銀行員と会いました。作家、writer、作家、作家、writer。彼女は私の好きな作家です。彼女の本はとても感動的だからです。She is my favorite writer because her books are so moving. 彼女は私の好きな作家です。彼女の本はとても感動的だからです。挑戦する。try. 挑戦する。挑戦する。try. イカスミで習字に挑戦する。I'm going to try to do calligraphy with squid ink. イカスミで習字に挑戦する。測る。measure. 測る。測る。measure. 大体で大丈夫です。ミリ単位まで測らなくていいです。More or less is fine. You don't have to measure every millimeter. 大体で大丈夫です。ミリ単位まで測らなくていいです。取っておく。Keep. 取っておく。取っておく。Keep. 書類をファイルに取っておく。I keep the documents in the file. 書類をファイルに取っておく。待つ。wait. 待つ。待つ。wait. 彼は私たちを待つと言っていました。he said that he would wait for us. 彼は私たちを待つと言っていました。Welcome to Can Do Japanese by JapanesePod101.com. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kano Kana des. Hi everyone, I'm Kana Kano. In this lesson, you learn how to make small talk about the weather. This is Karen Lee. She sees her neighbor, Ichika Ishikawa, and starts a conversation by saying, It's hot today, isn't it? ね、Listen to the conversation and focus on Karen's comment. Ready? ね、ね、Once more with the English translation. ね、It's hot today, isn't it?、ね、it is, isn't it? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Karen says, It's hot today, isn't it? ね、First is today. After this is the topic marking particle. 
わ、わ。It marks 今日 Today as the topic of the sentence. Think of it like as for in the expression as for today. Together it's 今日は As for today. 今日は Next is 暑い Hot. あつい。あつい。After this is です。In this case, it's like the is in it is hot. です。です。And last is ね。A sentence ending particle that's used to build consensus. It translates as isn't it here. ね。ね、Another common translation for、ね、is right? As in, it's hot, right? Altogether, it's、ね、literally, as for today, hot it is, isn't it? But translates as, it's hot today, isn't it? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Ichika Ishikawa says, It is, isn't it? So this ne. So this ne. Is a set phrase used to show agreement with the speaker. The English translation can vary depending on the context. Here it translates as, It is, isn't it? But a common translation is, that's right. So this ne. First is, so. Translating as true or correct in this context. So, u. So. After this is, this. In this case, it's like the is in it is. This. And last is、ね、the sentence ending particle that's used to build consensus. It translates as, isn't it, here?、ねね、Together, そうです、ね、literally means, true, that is, isn't it? But it translates as, it is, isn't it? そうですね The pattern is. Kyowa. Word or phrase describing the weather. This ne. It's word or phrase describing the weather. Today, isn't it? Kyowa. Word or phrase describing the weather. This ne. Imagine it's cold. Samui. 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 Say. It's cold today, isn't it? Ready? It's cold today, isn't it? Notice that both Karen and her neighbor in the sentence with ne, isn't it? The purpose of the particle ne is to build consensus between the speakers and it's often used in Japanese. Making this kind of small talk about the weather is more common in Japan than asking about one's well being. Instead of asking, How are you? people are more likely to make a simple observation about the weather or temperature. It's expected that the other person will express agreement. It's an exercise in consensus building that will begin many of your daily encounters in Japan. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. ね
今日は暖かいですね。今日は暖かいですね。今日はいい天気ですね。今日はいい天気ですね。暑いですね。暑いですね。Did you notice how I omitted Kyowa? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our can do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. It's hot, isn't it? You can omit and simply say, Hot, followed by. ね、In Japanese, when the context is clear, the speaker often omits the topic. In this case, it's clear the speaker was talking about today's weather. So, is omitted. You should be aware of this shortcut, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. Word or phrase describing the weather.、ね、it's Word or phrase describing the weather. Today, isn't it? Let's review the key vocabulary. Atatakai. Warm. Atatakai. Atatakai. E tenki. Nice weather. E tenki. This phrase is made up of two words. E. Meaning good. E. E. Tenki. Weather. Tenki. Tenki. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say hot? Atsui. Atsui. And the sentence ending particle that's used to build consensus? Ne. Ne. Do you remember how to say today? Kyo. Kyo. And the topic marking particle? Wa. Wa. Do you remember how Karen says, It's hot today, isn't it? Do you remember how Ichika Ishikawa agrees by saying, It is, isn't it? そうですね。そうですね。Do you remember how to say good weather? いい天気。いい天気。And how to say 
cold. Samui. Samui. Let's practice. Imagine your r e Ichika, Karen's neighbor. Comment on the cold weather today. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Imagine you're Ben Lee. Comment to your teacher on the hot weather today. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Mark Lee. Comment to your neighbor on the nice weather today. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is How to Start Conversations Talking Points for Language Learners. How do you start a conversation in a language that you're learning? Believe it or not, it's actually very easy to do. And in this lesson, we'll give you tips and resources to get you speaking more of your target language. You'll discover 1. Talking points for language learners, 2. The top five ways to start a conversation, and 3. Resources to help you master these talking points. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Renting an Apartment Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say, How much is the rent? How many bedrooms are there? And much more with this new PDF cheat sheet. Second, visual flashcards that'll improve your vocabulary. Want to speak more of the target language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll easily master over 1,500 words. Just download and print these visual flashcards out. Third, The Top 50 Marine Animals and Fish. How well do you know animal names in your target language? With this quick lesson, you'll learn how to say shark, whale, dolphin, and much more. Fourth, how to talk about your day in 20 phrases. If you can't talk about your day yet, this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn 20 must know phrases, from talking about waking up and brushing your teeth to dinner and going to sleep. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to start conversations talking points for language learners. Starting a conversation can be intimidating for most people, even in their own native language. So it's understandable if you feel even more intimidated starting a conversation in another language. But if you do want to speak more of your target language and get more practice, that's exactly what you'll need to do have conversations with native speakers. Part 1 Talking Points for Language Learners. 
The good news is starting a conversation in another language is much easier because one, native speakers will realize that you're learning and will go easy on you. And two, you don't know enough of the language to worry about saying something clever, and that's totally fine. So you can easily start with basic phrases. So how exactly do you start a conversation? You'll need something called a talking point. A talking point is simply a topic or a thing to talk about. For example, weather's a very common talking point. You can say, nice weather today, to someone and start a conversation from that. And after that, you can ask them where they're from or talk about the city, like, wow, this is a great city, which is another basic talking point. And now you have a conversation going, all from a simple talking point and a simple comment about the weather. So what are some common talking points? Let's get into part two. Part two, the top five ways to start a conversation. Again, a good thing about having conversations in another language is that it's okay and natural to focus on simple topics for a while. So here are five easy ways to start conversations in your target language. And if you're already learning with our language program, then you've already learned some of these within your first few lessons. One, introduce yourself in your target language. Sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. You can also use this if you've started with a different topic, like the weather. Then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is. You'll learn how to introduce yourself in the very first lesson of our program. Two, the weather. People talk about the weather all over the world, so you should learn weather phrases in your target language. Just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our Can Talk About Weather Learning Pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Three, compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about their city, their country, or something about their culture. Four, ask for help. So for example, you can ask for directions about the price of something and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. And five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel or telling the taxi driver where to go. These are very easy ways to start a dialogue and you can easily move into other topics. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Of course, these are not the only talking points or icebreakers you can use. If you can think of more, go ahead and use them. Which one would you use? Leave us a comment. Now, how do you actually learn the language around these talking points? Part three, resources to help you master these talking points. First, take our lessons. If you haven't yet signed up for a free lifetime account to our learning program, you can do so now. In every lesson, you learn a basic conversation, like the weather, introducing yourself, asking for directions, and more. And this gives you all the lines you'll need to start and continue a conversation in real life. And if you want to find lessons related to a specific talking point, like the weather, you can find them in our lesson library. Second, use our conversation PDF cheat sheets. These cheat sheets are a quick summary of our actual lessons and give you the must-know phrases and vocabulary for topics like family, weather, travel, getting directions, and much more. Third, come up with a list of phrases and questions you'd want to use in a conversation, and then ask your Premium Plus teacher for translations, or use an online translation tool, although that may not always be perfect. Either way, you'll have lines that you can use to start conversations. Fourth, use our free vocabulary and phrase lists. There, you'll find hundreds of vocabulary and phrase lists across all kinds of topics. Holidays, common phrases, phrases for weather, phrases for restaurants, and much more. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the seven skills you'll need for language mastery. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You're learning a language, but here's a question. Do you actually remember what you've learned? Or do you forget everything a day later? 
If you're forgetting everything and not making any real progress, it might be because you're missing a crucial part of the learning process, the actual practice and assessment. For that, you'll want the assessments inside our learning program. And in this video, you'll discover 1. How to access the assessments and start practicing 2. How you'll learn faster and remember everything and 3. How you can get your language assessed by native teachers. Let's jump in! 1. How to access the assessments and start practicing First, what are assessments? These are multiple choice and teacher graded exercises that test you on what you've learned so far and give you a chance to practice your language so that you don't forget what you learn. If you're learning with our language program, then you automatically get an assessment after every couple of lessons. This is to make sure you're practicing and retaining the language. If you haven't tried the study tool yet, sign up for a free lifetime account and get access right now. You'll find the assessments inside our recommended learning pathway. Two how you'll learn faster and remember everything. So after you've completed a few lessons, you'll get a quick multiple choice assessment that tests you on all the words and grammar rules you learned. Answer the questions the best you can, and you'll get instant results showing you what you got right and wrong. That way you'll know if you've remembered anything and you'll know what your weak points are. But there's more. Just by taking these assessments, you're improving your memory. That's because you're using a science-backed learning method called Active Recall. Active Recall is where you try to recall or remember without looking at the answer, and in doing so, you strengthen your memory. Plus, you get to practice and use the language that you've learned, instead of letting it fade away from your memory. 3. How you can get your language assessed by native teachers. You also get hand-graded assessment exercises on speaking and writing, which are graded by our team of native teachers. With these assessments, you can submit a recording of yourself speaking or submit a piece of writing, and our teachers will assess your skills and give you feedback. Getting feedback from a native is one of the fastest ways to improve your language skills. Remember, you'll find our assessment exercises peppered throughout our recommended learning pathway. So, if you want to start learning the language with our learning program and make sure you remember everything with these assessments, sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to learn and speak more of your target language? You'll need to learn more words, and you can do that with printable visual flashcards. So here's how you can learn over 1,500 words easily with a free printable resource that boosts your retention, keeps you focused on one word at a time, and makes learning fun. In this video, you'll discover 1. How to get our printable visual flashcards for free 2. How you'll learn words and phrases even faster and 3. Five ways to learn with the flashcards. First, what are visual flashcards? Visual flashcards are our printable flashcards that teach you 1,500 words across 60 topics. All words come with images and translations for easy retention, and they're an easy way for beginners to boost their vocabulary. So, how do you get them? How to get our printable visual flashcards for free. Just click the link and sign up for a free lifetime account to our learning program. Our learning program teaches you the language through audio and video lessons, study tools, and one-on-one -on -one access to a teacher. These visual flashcards are a free supplemental resource for anyone interested in learning. Once you've signed up, check your email to confirm your account and download the free visual flashcards. Then, print out the PDF files, cut out the cards, and start learning. How you'll learn words and phrases even faster. Learning words can be difficult, if you're learning on your phone or computer, you have tons of notifications and distractions competing for your attention. You can also overwhelm yourself by learning too many words at once and forgetting them all. So, how can you learn faster? Our visual flashcards are a physical resource, which means there are no distractions, and they're right in front of you, unlike an app that's buried somewhere in your phone, so you can easily start learning. You get one word per card, so you can focus on one word at a time. No distractions, no giant word lists, just one word at a time, which takes a second to learn. 
All cards include the word in the target language, the translation, and a picture to help the meaning stick better. And you can easily run through the cards and test yourself until you remember each and every word. With visual flashcards, you learn 1,500 of the most common words, which means you don't waste time learning words that aren't useful for beginners. Five ways to learn with the flashcards. Once you've downloaded and printed the flashcards, how do you learn? One, set aside five to 10 minutes and pick out 20 cards. Spend the first half reviewing the cards and the second half testing yourself on the meanings. Two, for the words that you struggle with, keep them in a separate pile. That way, you can focus on just the hard words and skip the ones you know. Three, since the words are separated across 60 topics, you can focus on one topic at a time and keep at it until you're done with all 60 topics. Four, place the cards on the objects they represent around your home. Or five, turn it into a game with your friends. Have them quiz you on the words. Pick which way works best for you and learn with our visual flashcards. So, if you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language, download our visual flashcards for free right now. Just click the link and sign up for a free lifetime account to our learning program. Since you're learning the language, do you also learn while you're on the go? Like on the way to work or on a walk? Do you put small blocks of time to productive use? If not, here's how. In this video, you'll discover how to learn a language anywhere, anytime with our free app. Second, you'll find out how to learn two times faster with study tools. Third, how to test your language skills. Fourth, how to learn with your own teacher. And fifth, how to get free bonus language lessons just for watching this video. So let's jump in. One, how to learn a language in minutes, anywhere you are. First, download our innovative 101 app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Just click the link in the description to download it and sign up for your free lifetime account. Once you're in, we give you one clear pathway of lessons to follow. Just press play on a lesson and you'll absorb a practical conversation. You'll also learn all of the words and grammar rules in minutes. Yes, in minutes, because lessons are just a few minutes long, which means you can easily learn the language while you're commuting to work, going to the store, or while out on a walk. You can put that time to productive use. Two. How to learn two times faster with study tools. If you're a serious learner and want to succeed with the language, check out our study tools to help you master words, grammar rules, and conversations even faster. Just scroll down in the lesson to access the tools. You can understand the conversation in full with the line-by-line -line audio and the translations, review the key lesson vocabulary with the vocab list, and master the grammar with our in-depth lesson notes. Three, how to test and practice your language skills. You also get assessments after every few lessons to test you on what you've learned and give you the chance to practice the language. You'll find assessments peppered throughout the learning pathway and they'll only take a few minutes to complete, which means you can easily do them while you're out and about. You get results instantly so that you know what you've mastered and what your weak points are. Four, how to learn with your own teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also learn with your own teacher. Just visit My Teacher inside the app. There, you can interact with your teacher, practice writing, ask questions about the language, send audio and video recordings of yourself speaking the language, and get corrections and feedback. All of this through the app. Five, how to get free bonus language lessons. Since you've watched this far, here's a free bonus that many users don't know about. We release three to five new lessons a week, every week, nonstop, and they're free for three weeks before going into our lesson library, which means you can learn the language for free and get new lessons every week with our innovative 101 app. How? Just open up the menu inside the app and tap on newest lessons to unlock them. So if you're not yet learning a language while you're on the go, here's your chance to turn those small blocks of time into something productive. Download the Innovative 101 app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Just click the link in the description. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.